G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy for a very exciting game day squad update. We had a fantastic week on the track. The investment that I've put in my team over the course of this season, as you've been following along, just building up my team, improving the forwards, mids and backs, getting the balance right between bronze, silver and gold and even platinum now. It's paid off because not only did I win this week in the True Footy competition, not to lord it over you, I'm just very excited about doing well. I actually placed sixth nationally for this round as well. So personal best for me, pretty strong stoked with that and the exciting part of that is that I got a prize of a unique player pack to open in this video as well. So you get rewarded for doing really well in this competition. So I'm stoked with that. I've uh, continually been around that 10 to 20 mark each week. So to place first uh, was a massive surprise, really excited. So what we're going to do in this video is go through how my team did in terms of forward, mids and backs. Then we're going to open up all the player packs that I managed to earn, um, which is exciting. Then as we always do, we'll finish off the video by improving my score squad by making some changes. So it feels really good. So make sure you join in all the action with the top link in the description below where you can join the league and play completely for free. What I recommend now is if you feel like it's too late to join in the league uh, at this point of the season, it's definitely not because the team that you assemble now, you'll carry into next year. So honestly, the earlier you start, the better. It's heaps of fun. Like I said, I've completely stopped playing fantasy since I discovered this and it's starting to pay off. So what we're going to do now is crack into how everyone did this week. While we're at it, I'll just show you proof that I was six in the the, uh, in the league or equal six actually with Zeus cannon, cannons. So uh, very happy with that. You get a uh, you get that free pack for coming in the top 20 nationally. So sit with sixth. I'm very, very happy. That's of course the classic competition. This is obviously our true footy leaderboard. Of course, you still got peanut butters at the top with Dostroys and Plaps. They've been around the mark all year. I've moved up into ninth. I think that's the equal highest I've been all year. So it'd be great to crack into that top seven or eight. That was of course the classic league and in the champion league, which is the non-salary cap version, we got Marto's Magicians at the top there. Marto's Magicians unsurprisingly was also the uh, the best score in the champion uncapped competition. And of course, if you go to the round version of our classic league as well, Western St. Claude's, my team came first, knocking off peanut butters. That would be the first time I've done that this year. So very, very happy with that. So what we're gonna do obviously is rip through how everyone did this week in terms of my team. The back line certainly did well, but I think it was the forwards who I'll get to that really carried me this week. But you look at the back line there, Nick Newman uh, made the video about him last week, 183s, continuing a great season. I pulled the trigger on Hayden Young, uh, took a risk there, and I'm very, very happy with how he did with 128. Caleb Daniel, a little bit poor with 88. I think he's been a little bit down on form in recent weeks, we'll click on that. Uh, yeah, a little bit up and down. Two out of his last three were really poor scores. Sicily, Ryan and Duggan really, uh, you know, plugging away. Duggan's been a really good addition as a silver player. Tom Green, I unpacked last week. The bronze version's got 137, so really good score from him. Laird did well, and Clayton Oliver, uh, I swung him into my team once I saw that he was selected in the platinum, and he got 183, which is above his average, so very, very happy with that. Ronald Marshall left on the bench for 149. That one's a bit unlucky, but Tim English still tunned up, uh, but still some lost points there. The one I'm really happy about is Jason Horn Francis. I took a punt on him, and then he had his best game at AFL level with like, what do you have? Three goals and 27 touches. Yep, a really good score from him. Nick Martin also had one of his best games of the year with 156. In fact, that is his best score for the year. Yep, three goals and 32 possessions. So got lucky there. Um, Golden was unusually quiet by his standards. Uh, Taranto a little bit down, but you know, Jez, what did he kick? Seven or something this week? Seven goals. So on the whole, you know, pretty good scores across the board. It shouldn't be too hard to make changes this week, but we've got some packs to open. So potentially I could improve my squad even further. So we have got three forward packs. That's very handy because the forward line is the, uh, the bane of my existence this year, other than a good week this week. Uh, midfielders, one pack, defender, one pack and a ruck. And then if you go to the play packs. This is the one that I earned through making it into the top 20. So two unique uh, players to open as well. But we'll start with the common ones and uh, see how we go. Let's start with the forwards. So the first four we've got to open is Oscar Allen. Uh, already have him in gold, but bronze could be better. Uh, still as a key forward, probably not the uh, the best player to get. The third forward, a second forward rather, is Gary Rowan. Uh, yeah, less than ideal, but that's okay. What can you expect from the free packs? And finally, the third forward I have got, hopefully is a gun. I really need an assistance here. Uh, Mabio Chol, I think I already got him. So yeah, nothing really yielded from that. Now let's open the midfielder pack and see who we get. Hopefully another absolute jet. Zach Merritt, yeah, great result. I'm pretty happy with that because I've got a strategy in mind and I might move a bronze midfielder into the team. I'll uh, elaborate on on that shortly. One defender pack. Let's see who we've got. 
And that is Jack Sinclair. Again, that's a pretty good bronze player to have. Uh, you know, prodigious halfback flank who racks up a lot of the footy. Ruck, again, I've got pretty good rucks, to be honest. So this one is just uh, just gravy at this point. Let's see who we've got. It is Sean Darcy. I think I unpacked him last week. So yeah, swing and a miss. All right, so we move down to my uh, unique pack here. And let's see what we've got. Open. I'm excited. So this play will be probably like gold or above, I think. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. This is exciting. Oh, I've got nine. Whoa, I didn't realize that. That is juicy. Let's open them one by one. So we've got uh, McBride. I forget his name. Is it Kean McBride or something like that? Platinum, fair enough. Uh, Arnold, I don't know, even know who that is. But you can see they're all, wow, Dylan Stevens in diamond. Interesting. Hopefully he becomes a, uh, a prodigious player in the future. Obviously he's a fringe player at the moment. Sam Hayes in platinum. Wow, these are juicy. Unfortunately, they're all kind of spuds. Uh, Liam Shields is about to retire, isn't he? Or is he undecided? Nick Holman, Sam Banks. That one could be a good long-term one. He's only just been drafted. And then Harry Perryman. Okay, interesting. So in platinum. So nothing really yielded there. The best case scenario is that, you know, maybe Sam Hayes uh, sort of cracks a game soon and Dylan Stevens makes it in the future. All the other players I don't really think I know too much about other than maybe Sam Banks there. So there's potential there, but uh, yeah, in terms of the short term, nothing really. So I've still got one unique uh, one to open as well, but it's very exciting. Okay, a further nine play. Let's see if I can do better. And you notice they were all platinum or above. So this is very, very juicy. Hopefully I can get an absolute star. Fiorini, not so much. Tom Lynch, is yes, potential. Luke Foley, nah, no good. Luke Foley again, now that is unlucky. Michido Owens in platinum, now that's nice. He's not gonna crack my team soon because he doesn't justify it, but obviously an absolute gun. Trent Dumont, again, probably a swing and a miss there. Alex Keith, no good. Menegola, probably not. And Burgess, okay, so I've probably got one or two players there to, uh, to work with here, but what we'll do now is go to the squad and see if I can fit any of these guys in. So what we'll do is review the, um, the players that didn't uh, make my team last week and see if they got any good scores. So yeah, Sam Hayes played and got 89, but that is with a platinum score. His actual score was 69, so you know, hopefully he's a longer term one there. James O'Donnell, I don't know too much about, um, but uh, I don't sold the scores with 86 there. Maybe one for the future, maybe one for the future. Mateus Philippou, I didn't get him this week, but uh, yeah, he's got some improved scores there. Kicked a goal. Um, longer term won that one, but I'm happy with that, particularly because he's a forward. Perryman, not so much. Luke Foley, yeah, that's a pretty good score, um, but he obviously, I think he will get delisted, so that's probably not so great for me. Machido Owens, what's his scores like? I've got him in gold already. Um, he's getting around the 100 mark, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good, but probably in future seasons, Seasons, he'll be worth having as a platinum. Anyone else wow me this week in the reserves? Darcy Moore obviously got injured. Um, Taylor Adams, gee, he uh, did well in gold, 141. That's a good score. But again, he's too patchy to really... Oh, I guess it was only two bad weeks there. He's a little bit up and down. Windhager was solid. Jaden Hunt, solid. Who else we got down here? Shannon Neal's playing now. That's not a bad average, actually, for a key forward. Okay, so not too much yielded, but hopefully some longer-term options in there can improve my side. Let's just go and improve my best 22 now. So, what I want to do is probably get Caleb Daniel out of my team because uh, not only is he up and down, but I want to get this Platinum Dan Houston into my team. See, 197. There's too many points there going begging. Um, Shannon Hearn is obviously only going to play one more game, so there's no point with him and Zerk Thatcher is not a big fantasy player let's get Dan Houston I want to get him into the team but to do that I need to reduce some salary cap somewhere so I'm thinking of downgrading this Took Miller 120 because I think I can do you know I get close to that with a bronze player who do I who did I just unpack I got a good midfielder didn't I John Newcomb 182 that, that was one I missed uh, Josh Dacos 147 so that's two options but I did just unpack someone and I've already forgotten who it was. It was Zach Merritt, that's right. So his average is 130. Uh, even though 104 is a quiet game by his standards, he's probably the one I wanna get in. Let's take the punt on Zach Merritt because he is super consistent. So you can see Zach Merritt there averages 130 in bronze, which is more than Took Miller does in silver anyway. So that will hopefully give me the required salary cap to go from Caleb Daniel in platinum to Dan Houston in gold. Let's have a look. Confirm swap. No, it doesn't. I will say yes for now. That puts me over the salary cap. Is there another player I can downgrade to keep young, uh, not young, sorry, uh, Dan Houston in my team? Let's have a look. Do we downgrade uh, Clayton Oliver to gold? That will probably give me my salary cap back. I do have Clayton Oliver in gold, don't forget. So will this be worth it? Yes, it will. I'll go back into classic and I've still got some salary cap left. So is there someone else I can upgrade? Maybe Trelaw, 
who has been up and down. I don't want to drop any of the Fords. That, the, the Fords all did well this week. I think it's Trelaw might be the one that I upgrade for. Maybe that's uh, Silver Took Miller. Let's have a look. I can't afford gold, so it's going to have to be one of these silver midfielders. And the best one is Took Miller. And to be fair, he is super consistent. Let's get Took Miller back into the team. So that was a little bit uh, of fidgeting around, but I think this optimizes my team a lot better. There you go. So I'm at 100% salary cap. Dan Houston's scores are just so impressive at the moment that I want to keep him into the team. And Dan Houston is a bigger upgrade of Caleb Daniel than Clayton Oliver is a downgrade from Platinum. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Zach Merritt also comes into team over Trelaw to improve my squad. So yeah, happy with that. That is probably all the changes I'm going to make this week, guys. But let me know in the comments, how's your team going? By all means, pay me some amazing compliments for winning the league this week. It's, uh, it's much needed right now with West Coast being terrible. But as always, guys, hope you're enjoying the game. Make sure you join in the fun with the top uh, link in the description of this video. It's never too late to join because you will carry these players into future seasons. As always, guys, hope you're enjoying the content. Appreciate your support. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.